basic measurement in illumination engineering this is our first lecture series of illumination engineering and we'll be talking about this basic measurement basic measurement includes lux flux candle luminance and thereafter to make the project work being more logical isolux isocandla and polar distribution diagrams are required the basic quantity which starts the measurement is lux because the sensor available today is sensitive to the amount of light falling on the sensor and this is defined as the amount of radiation per square meter that is lumen per square meter the incident and the reflected light there are two parts which are to be sensed the one that is incident light is measured by a photocell that is the sensor but naturally the our eye sense the reflected light from the surface of task and therefore it is difficult to measure the reluminance which is measured by eye but it is easier to measure the incident illumination that is incident light on a surface flux is amount of radiated radiation from the source and it is per unit per second measured in lumen in or in watt flux per unit unit radians is 1 candle in order to understand the basic application of these terms we will take example of 200 watt gls lamp the gls stands for general lighting services and this is an incandescent type of lamp which has a lumen output of 3000 lumen marked on its wrapper a 200 watt gls lamp radiates all the flux in all the direction and these directions are four pi solid angle but there is an obstruction by the cap which is about omega 0 and therefore the net angle which is available for radiation of 3000 lumen is 4 pi minus omega 0 now this 3000 lumen is spread throughout the space in 4 pi directions is converted into a candle power of 238 candle uniformly distributed around the lamp therefore the 3000 lumens are now uniformly distributed to create an intensity of 238 candle uniformly around the 200 volt gls lamp let us understand how this lamp will be have in installed condition say for example if it is mounted at a height of h meter from the working plane what shall be the illumination level just below and at an angle of q from the downward vertical and a point on the working plane in case this light source is mounted at a height of 2 meters from the working plane then the illumination just below the lamp will be i into cos cube q divided by h square which is about 59.5 lux because the q in this case is zero to the vertical assuming this point just below the lamp to be a c we consider a point 1 meter away from this point of the working plane now here the illumination level will be 42.6 lux because the cos cube q 
will be 0 0.715 which is cos cube of this angle of but one meter away from the C there will be a circle around C as the center thus the isolux lines of 42.6 will be described as a circle around center C of the working plane isolux diagram in fact the lux level when plotted in terms of the same values of elimination usually in one plane is called isolux for example in this diagram you see a street light on a road which is surrounded by elliptical shapes of isolux diagram each line has a lux value which is fixed wherever you go on that line isocandla diagram can two line of same values of isocandla power is in the space around given light source is known as isocandla for example this is where you have the values of spherical or spherical surface having elliptical shapes diagram which gives you same value of intensity if you are uh, travel around those lines polar graph of intensity versus angle plotted in one c plane the center of light source being vertex of the angle and the downward vertical being zero, zero pole Cartesian, gra Cartesian graph of intensity versus angle plotted in one vertical plane the center of light source being origin of the plot the angle shown in x axis and the intensity is being shown on the y axis polar graph of intensity versus angle plotted in one c plane the center of light source being vertex of the angle and the downward vertical being zero, zero pole previous slide shows one c plane in which polar curve of a luminaire is presented in the present slide you can see that there are two planes 0 180 and 16340 degree these two half planes join together to make one c10180 and c16340 degree c planes vertical planes present slide shows clearly planes at 0 degree 45 degree 90 degree 135 degrees The zero degree and one eighty degree are part of the same plane, whereas forty five degrees and two twenty five degrees planes are one. Similarly, ninety and two seventy will be also one plane. This is how we do the photometry of the light readings.